do so love the smell of burning plastic. Uh, General Plastro, sir. Uh, Baron Von Beige is here to see you, sir. <sighs> Baron Von Beige. I have arrived. Imbecile. Uh, what is our current status, Baron? We are approaching 80% production capacity. We should be at full speed by the end of the week. Excellent. Begging your pardon, General, but my talents are wasted on this bureaucracy. I need your tactical mind and um, influential presence to keep the men at 110%. Do you realize what we have here? We've tapped into an abundance of raw materials on the other side of that portal. Why, we've got enough at our disposal to double the no, triple the size of our forces. Yes, but volume cannot make up for lack of skill. Uh, well, what are you worried about, Von Beige? Uh, Captain Blade? Blade is nothing. Well, nothing beat us last time. That was before I arrived, General. Blade's reputation is built on luck and hype. Oh, you'll have your chance at Blade. <laughs> you can count on it. Sparrow 2 to Bird's Nest, come in. We found what looks to be a tan factory or something. What? The Tan Baron has returned, and this time, he is showing no mercy. Supporting his own legend, this mysterious Tan Ace has single-handedly cut off the Green Nation's supply of incoming raw materials. And without these precious resources, Green War efforts are seriously threatened. But the legend of the merciless Tan Baron has found few challengers brave enough to stop him. At the top of the list, Captain William Blade of Alpha Wolf Squadron. Good luck, Captain. Our cheers go with you. Well, glad you decided to join us, Captain. What's the drill? And where's Woodstock? Well, Woodstock is the drill, mate. He's down behind enemy lines. We sent him out with a recon wing in this area here. He reported finding a tan plastic refinery, but they were attacked. Very likely by the Tan Baron. I told you I should have been along for the ride. So when do I leave? First things first, son. I need you to confirm the location of that refinery and destroy it. No sweat. And then we get Woodstock. There's four of them, sir. Super factories pumping out tan forces like you wouldn't believe. Reporting as ordered, sir. Sergeant Hawk, welcome. Lieutenant? Captain? Hey, Vicky. Saw your report on the Tan Baron. Good stuff. But, um... Tell your cameraman to get me from my good side next time. Which side is that? Your backside? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one of them. Our first order is to build up our own supply of plastic. Then it's up against those ten factories. What kind of factories? I don't know. Super weapons, infantry killers probably, but we need more data. The Tan Baron? That's gonna make it rough. Oh, rough into wood, man! Oh, give me a break. He's a friggin' butterfly. Listen, if I'd been there, he'd still be clawing his way out of the ground. <laughs> well, you don't agree, Sergeant? Well, um, let's just say it's something I'd really like to see, sir. All right, let's get down to the business at hand. So far, so good, eh, Captain? Yeah, well, we haven't met the Baron yet. That's what I'm looking forward to. Oh, you are crazy as a bike riding fish, man. If he show up, you can have him. I know worries, Captain. I'll watch the crowd while well, you give him what for, eh? Thanks, Hooligan. But I doubt it'll take me long to smack him out of my sky. Hey, you know if he does show up, well, I know you can take him. Well, of course I can. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? No, not with a top gun like you in the lead. KK, 
kids, let's take down the tents and hose out the cages. We're going home. Captain, I got a bandit on the screen. He's fixing to tear up my six-something first. Fall back, all of you. I got this guy. Great. We're all short on fuel and ammo. You don't stand a chance. Get back off and that's an order. How foolish of you, Captain Blade. Sacrificing your team for the sake of your own ego. Let's make this quick, Baron Brownie. I got a date tonight. Oh, this is crazy. I got no bullets. We need some backup here. Hang on. Oh, sorry, mate. I can't keep a steady. I... He's down. I see him. I just hope he left some room for me down there, too. Don't give up. I'm free. We've lost two again hardcore. I'm off guns. I don't think I... Felicity? Felicity! Having second thoughts now, are we, Captain Blade? Your dedication to your squadron comes a bit too late. Admit defeat to me and I will show mercy. Kiss my tail. Oh, I'll do better than that. Woodstock, clear out of here. Tell the colonel to form a rescue party. What's up then? I got grand pilot. What's up then? No more to the end. I got your nobility right here. Ah, oh, I'm dry. Such a worthy opponent. Goodbye, Captain Blade. Take your hat off when the Colonel's addressing you, soldier. Captain... You know it pains me to do this. Colonel, please, I had no choice. Oh, you had plenty of choice, Flyboy, but you made the wrong decision, and you put your whole squad and in- attention, Sergeant. When I want your opinion, I'll ask for it. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Your indiscretion has cost this company three of our finest pilots. I'm afraid you'll have to face a court-martial hearing. But, Colonel, please, I'm sorry, son. Hooligan. Felicity. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. What did I do? Don't just stand there staring at the sky like a monkey. Grab the winch! The Tan Army has delivered a staggering blow against the Green Nation. Without air support, our ground troops are defenseless. With the members of Alpha Wolf Squadron, MIA, and Captain Blake on AWOL, our air superiority is at an end. Any information leading to Captain Blake's location is crucial, and he is to be considered a desperado. Hmm. Desperado, eh? Perhaps we can interest him in joining our side. Ridiculous. My pilots are every bit as skilled as he is, as I have proven. Well, what are you looking at, little man? Go make me a sandwich! Way to go, Flyboy. I knew we could count on you. Now let's hightail it back to base and figure out our next move. Not yet. Not until we find Felicity. <laughs> you know, you're good. I'll, I'll give you that. But sometimes it helps to have a plan and some backup. I got a plan! Find Felicity and plant the Baron like a seed! Whoa, didn't you learn anything last time, Cap? This ain't about you, it's about your squad! <sighs> Alright. But I'm gonna tell you, the first MP who tries to take me in is getting his butt handed to him. And while I don't approve of your, uh, cowboy-style renegade tactics, they have done wonders for our strategic position. This will certainly not be overlooked by the military court. And I'll testify to that fact myself, son. Thank you, sir. And with a full pardon granted to him by the Chief of Staff, Captain William Blade is ready to rebuild Green Air Superiority and fight back the Tan Menace once more. Fun beige! Fun beige! 
How could you let Blade and his band of sky pirates humiliate us like this? I assure you, General, his day in the sun will not last past midnight. Leave this to me. Well, he's kind of creepy, isn't he, Plastro? Any chance you could let this little old girl out so we could get to know each other better? Don't try to egg me, sweetie. I've been egged by the best. Gentlemen, your target is clear. The Tan Army's main weapons facility. We believe this is where Baron Von Beige is stationed. Which is probably where Felicity is too. Correct. Now it is heavily fortified, but destroying it will knock the legs out from under the entire Tan Army. Sergeant Hawk here will attempt to infiltrate the factory and locate Lieutenant Wanamaker. Once he has her clear of the building, we know what to do. <laughs> yes, sir. Celebrate prematurely, Captain. Go! Oh, get out of here! Don't come around! Blade! Don't do it! You can't take him alone! I'm gonna flam bathe on beige. Blade! Captain Blade! How does it feel to know you've single-handedly given the Green Nation one of its foremost victories? I didn't do anything single-handedly. This wasn't about me. This was about my squad. We did this together, and without them, well, yeah, I'd still be in the stockade, dreaming about you. Hey! Hey! I want to thank you personally, Bombshell. Your support and friendship carried me through this. Really? It did? Really, it did.